Hi guys, this is Holly again at Holly Brand Arts. Um, so since it's springtime, I am going to be showing you how to draw a birdhouse drawing. And this is a lesson that I would typically do with my kindergarten to first grade students. We've done this for several years with great success. Um, so this is something you could do for beginner uh, drawing practice or for younger students or um, children at home. So what we're going to do is start out drawing the birdhouse first. And I like to um, kind of start off by drawing a rectangle. And I like to leave myself just a little bit of space at the edges so we could fill with leaves and just a few background details. Let's zoom this out just a little bit so you can see the whole page. And um, we're just going to connect across the bottom with a straight line, making the bottom of our rectangle birdhouse. And across the top will be, uh, let's just put a, a point at the top center of our page so that we can connect from the dot to the straight line with a diagonal line. And again, from the dot to the straight line with the diagonal line. I'm going to tilt my paper just because it makes it a little bit more comfortable for me to draw. Now, because it's a birdhouse and it's built out of wood, we're going to actually let this kind of overlap the edges a little bit here with our diagonal lines so that it can protect the rest of the birdhouse uh, from getting wet, protect those birds when it rains. And we're going to come up with a tiny straight line about the size of your pinky fingernail. Don't need it real thick. And we'll put a straight line at the top of the dot. And we're going to connect from those little straight lines back up with the diagonal to the center and back with the diagonal to the center. And mine went off the edge of the page just a little bit. That's okay. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do, um, about right in the center of the birdhouse, we're going to draw a nice big circle, and I just kind of like to circle around a few times until I get a circle that looks good. Just be kind of real loose about it. And your circle should wind up being about the size of a chocolate chip cookie. Um, you want it a nice big opening so that when we draw our bird, it looks like the bird could actually fit into the birdhouse. So we have our circle opening for the bird. Down here at the base of our birdhouse, we're going to let it overlap a little bit again down here at the bottom with our straight line. And we're going to come down with two little straight lines at the edges. And we'll connect across, again showing thickness so that people can see the realism that this birdhouse was made of wood. Okay, we're going to make a 3D uh, almost like a 3D cylinder perch for our bird to sit on. Um, and we'll actually do that after we draw uh, the, or you know what, let's go ahead and do it now. I think it'll be easier that way. So we'll start right under our circle opening with a small frowning curved line. Okay, and we could zoom this in just a little bit for this part. And that frowning curved line kind of just fits over the edge of my pinky fingernail. It's not real big. We're going to come down with two straight lines off the edges. And we're going to come diagonally out at both sides. So we're kind of making it come out like a capital letter Y with two diagonal lines. We'll put ovals at the ends of those diagonal lines. And to make two 3D cylinders, we'll come off the edges with diagonal lines and we'll stop when they meet in the center. And that makes it look like our birdhouse has a 3D perch for our bird to sit on. So now we can zoom it back out and draw the bird actually sitting in front of our birdhouse. So what we'll do is we'll start overlapping, which means that he is resting in front of our circular opening and he's sitting on our perch. So we're going to draw a curving smile line and we're actually going to turn that into a slanted sideways letter D. 
and any part of the circle that your bird has overlapped, we're going to erase that part inside of the bird. Okay, next we're going to draw um, overlapping a circle head for our bird and that will be about the size of a quarter. Because we've overlapped it on the body, we'll erase that part out of the head because the head is on top of the body. Down here at the edge of this letter D, we'll continue this down, doubling it up so it's nice and thick like a long skinny rectangle. And we could go ahead and add some lines in that for texture that shows the way something feels because we're adding feathers to show people that if you would touch our bird, he has feathers. We'll come inside of the D from the tip of uh, the letter D down here at the edge, we'll add a shorter and smaller smiling curved line. This will serve as the bird's wing and then the bird's belly. And we can add a few diagonal lines inside of the wing to show that there are feathers inside of the wing. Next, we'll come up to the bird's head. We're going to start by doing one triangle and then right underneath it a second triangle so it looks like a sideways capital letter M and I'll zoom that in so you can see it nice and big. We want it to look like the bird's mouth is open because I'm actually going to add some little music notes so it looks like he is singing. He's nice and happy here on the birdhouse. We'll put a little bit of a little bit of fun detail in there with some realistic music notes. While we have it zoomed in here, we'll go ahead and make the eye. We're going to go ahead and color that in with our pencil and leave a little white space. That just makes it look a little bit more realistic. Shows a highlight of the bird's eye. And if we zoom it back out, now we just need to add some details before we're ready to color. We're going to come in and add um, some straight lines going across and I like to space those out about thumb distance apart. So let's put our thumb right underneath the roof and make a mark under our thumb. We're going to move our thumb down under that line that we just made. And again, I'll zoom this in so you can see it. Um, and we're going to put another thumb line, come down. We're just going to keep lining that thumb up with the last line that we made making a thumb thickness. And that kind of gives us some equal spacing here for the texture of our birdhouse. We're going to come up here and do some of that thumb thickness near the roof so that we have some guidelines up here. And if you have trouble with that, you can kind of eyeball where those lines should go. Okay, so we're going to connect these straight lines across from one side of the birdhouse to the other. Just getting the lines as straight as you can. Birdhouses aren't always built perfectly. Sometimes, in fact, they try to make them kind of look rustic, which means kind of old and not perfectly made. And so it's okay if your lines aren't perfect. And we're just going to keep connecting across to get that nice texture to show that our birdhouse is built out of little planks of wood. Just adds extra detail which makes our drawings look more realistic. Okay, And the last thing we'll do before coloring, which is the fun part, We'll add some leaves just to show some background that our little birdhouse is hanging in a tree. And so what we'll do is we'll start over here at, at the side edge. And I know I'm doing a lot of zooming in and out, but it's really nice to be able to see up close and then be able to see the whole picture. So we'll start at the edge of the paper making a letter C curve. We'll stop when we hit the birdhouse. We're going to move down a little bit and do a smiling curved line. We'll stop when we hit the birdhouse because it looks like our leaf is going behind the birdhouse. It's underlapping. We're in a straight line down the center 
and some diagonal lines to show the veins of the leaf and that's how the leaf gets its water and nutrients. It all travels through that vein. We're going to add a couple more over here at the edge. So again, we'll start with a letter C, sideways curve, stop when we hit the birdhouse. Frowning curved line or backwards letter C, stop when you hit and we'll add again the veins. And you can really add as many leaves as you want. Um, I think I'll add one up here above the roof. Same method that we've been using. You stop when you hit the birdhouse. And we'll do, maybe I'll do a couple down here towards the edge. Frowning curved line, smiling curved line, underlapping behind that birdhouse. Add the veins for those details. More t details you can add to your drawings, the better they're going to look. Okay, and then um, I am just going to kind of speed um, through the outlining and coloring of this birdhouse. I always like to outline my drawings just to give them a little extra um, pop. You can see the drawings a little bit better. Makes everything look nice and clean and I'm going to dig through here real fast and grab myself a sharpie. Um, I'm going to go through and outline my drawing. If you would decide to outline yours with marker, you'll want to have something underneath so that when that marker leaks through your page, it doesn't leak onto a table. I've got plenty of extra paper here behind my drawing in my sketchbook, so that will protect my surface. And then I'm just going to speed through the coloring with some twistable Crayola crowns. Any kind of crowns would work or colored pencils. We'll be coloring the birdhouse brown to make it look realistic. The hole or opening will be black or gray so it looks like it's deep inside. Of course, we'll do the leaves a nice shade of green so it looks like nature. Um, you could color your background blue if you wanted to show the sky. And then your choice on the bird. You could make it a cardinal and have it red. You could make it a canary and have it yellow. You could make a robin and have it brown. A blue bird, that would be blue. Um, you could do lots of different colors for your bird. I think I'm going to choose to do a blue bird. So I'm just going to go ahead and start coloring. I hope that you have great success with this drawing. And please come back and join me. We've got several other videos posted and we're, we plan to keep adding.